Hello everybody and welcome to another episode oh, of Mix Mowers. Got my little Riley boy here and today we're going to be doing a little video on how to uh, fix an oil leak on a governor arm or out of a governor area on, on your Honda engines, predominantly your Honda's uh, doobies, they have a little tiny whip coming out of the governor arm and you're losing oil and you're getting oil all over the engine and all over the deck and what have you. You alright there buddy? It okay. does. It's a bit stuck is it? Yeah. That's fine. It's on wheels, it's a bit wobbly, that's why. Um, so we're going to be doing a little video on that today. Now I can't take any credit for this video. Uh, Terrell Fixes All has done a video on this. He got, yeah, I know, Terrell got, got, does that. Yeah, him. Uh, yeah, him, Terrell, yeah, I'll make Terrell. And also Double Y6 has also done a video and they, yeah, and I yeah, believe, Grass Ratchet, oh yeah. I, I believe that uh, Terrell got this off of uh, one of his friends as well. Not This isn't his hack. But uh, I've come across this problem today on this mower that I've had it for a little while. So I need to do the same fix. Um, and I pretty much have copied uh, Terrell and uh, Double Y6. Uh, into doing this um, video as well. So I need to put my name out there to, so that I can get a video released on the same issue as well. So that's cool. So you know, you're going to need a, uh, an all seal for this, um, which I got from LNS Engineering. I will show you the part number for that very, very shortly in the video. And then hopefully we can get this little tiny all, all seal fitted and then they will have no oil leaks going forward. This machine does run to a degree. It is a bit smoky. It has come from a refuse site. So oh, that's, that, that, that's probably why, it's, um, why it has smoked. You done what, mate? Face time in there, a good lad. So, without further ado, let's sort out this oil leak um, on this Honda engine and fit an oil seal where it needs to be fitted. Okay, I've got you zoomed in as close as I can get you without you being in the way. And as you can see here on the governor arm, lots of oil, lots of debris, lo lots of just gunk and muck, okay? So the first thing I want to do is turn the fuel off, okay? Not that's going to help any, because I'm actually going to remove this fuel line and clamp it uh, just for my ease of access, okay? Just so I can show you guys what to do. You don't have to remove any of this panelling uh, to get to this, but I will do it just simply just for purpose of video, okay? Just take a mental note of where your springs are. You have a spring down here on the lower governor arm, just there. You also have your governor arm spring up the top and your governor arm rod as well on the top of a governor arm too. So take a, a mental note, a photograph, whatever you want to do, just, just do that before you uh, pro progress onto any ne next part of the video. I then want to get a little bit of degreasing agents and gunk off, some, some GT85, whatever you've got to hand, okay? Some hot soapy water with a brush, whatever you want to do and literally just start to saturate that area because you want this area nice and clean, dust free, gunk free, all the rest of it. So just a little bit of, of a penetrating fluid or whatever you've got to hand and literally just start to clean the area off. I'm going to hit my air compressor in a minute which will make it even easier for me and then uh, I'll come back to you once I've done that and then we'll go on to the next step. Right, so a bit of a clean off, um, nothing too special. Um, we've got some of these um, little Honda clips to remove, which I absolutely adore. I'm gonna clamp off my fuel up the top here, okay? Just like so. And then get yourself a, um, now what I might even, I might even cut those clamps off because I've got some different clamps that I use. I don't like these, these Honda ones on a Honda, I hate them. Um, they're just not very, not very good. I don't like to come off, is a problem. I'm gonna spend about 25 minutes mucking about trying to trying to remove them. I hate these ones. So I will probably transfer mine over to one of the newer style clips that I've got. That's it, there it goes. And then just give your fuel line a little tiny twist first. And then you should better just pull that straight out. Hopefully he says. Might want a bit of therapy just to help it on its way. Don't break the fuel tap though. They can be a bit tricky and a bit troublesome. Let's go a bit easy. Let's come up and goes. Right, fuel is now off, and that should stem flow with my hemostats on there. So I'm going to move that fuel line out the way. Okay, let me get a shop rag. So as I say, I'm not taking credit for this video. I didn't make this video. Oh, I did make this one, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't come up with the idea. Terrell's done one. So it's double wide six, and I believe they they got it from other people too. So um, as I say, this is just an issue I've I've now come across. Um, and I've got to do myself. Next thing you want to do is get yourself a 10 mil um, spanner or wrench, whatever you want to call it, depends what part of the world you're involved in, and just literally loosen off uh, this 10 mil nut off the back of this uh, said governor, which is actually on a quite tight to where it should be. Here it goes, a bit of dirt behind there. 
So loosen that off. Okay, you haven't got to take it all the way off, but you can do if you want to. And then all you want to do is very, very gently just wiggle, 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 and that governor arm will come all the way off and out. Okay, now all you gotta do is remember where it all goes. So I'm gonna remove this spring off the bottom, okay? Uh, don't You don't have to, but you know, if you just, just for ease. I'm gonna prop that up over top there. I then wanna get me, me, um, me air gun again. I want to just want to clean off this area here. Because this is where the oil seal is going to go. Okay, now you might be able to see inside there, there's a little tiny uh, spring clip, okay? And there's a gap, there's actually a void, which is actually where um, the, uh, the circlet, or the, sorry, the circlet, the, the O-ring should go. So it is actually a place designed to take it, but they never ever um, put one in. They do on marine engines, on a Honda marine engines, but not necessarily on the lawnmower ones. So give that a little squirt with some, some penetrating fluid or whatever you, whatever you have got, just to clean the area up first. Okay, and then another, another blow off. Right, now this is a quite important part, okay? Um, you need to get yourself a pair of mold grips or something similar before you go any further on with, on, on with this, uh, this little task that we have to do today. And I'm just gonna find my, uh, my O-ring that I've got, so I've put in my drawer. It should be down here, here it is. Right, so I've got, me, uh, I've got my part, and there's a part number just there for you, in case you guys wanna pause that and go from there, okay? I've got mine from LNS Engineering. Uh, they're a fantastic company. Tell them Mixed Mower sent you. Okay, you'll get nothing off. So I'll open that up, and here's your little O-ring, tiny little thing, okay? And you'll see on the inside, uh, it's got a little tiny groove. See that little tiny inside? That's the, that's the end that goes in first. The flat side does not go in first. Now what I recommend doing with this, before you take that, that clip out, okay, you can put a little bit of a lube on that, just a very small amount, nothing too hefty. Pin now still in place and your, your pair of pliers on, what you want to do is before you remove uh, that little tiny clip just there, you want to get your O-ring, okay, and it goes on with the beveled edges on the inside so the, the flat piece here faces out, okay. Literally just push that on onto your governor shaft, okay, just like so, okay. Then get your, um, your set of clamps you've got, because that governor arm, that, that will go want to go in. It won't suck in, but if you push it too hard, it'll, uh, it'll do a disappearing act on you. And then you'll be uh, for it. <clears throat> then you can then remove this little tiny pin just here with a, with a pick, okay, that comes out. <clears throat> and then with a pair of, I don't know, a long screwdriver, anything like that, you can then push this little tiny O-ring down into place up until you start to see the little tiny clip um, they just remove a little tiny groove. So push that all the way and you might want two screwdrivers, okay? Push that in as far as it'll go, so it's well seated. It's gonna be about there. And then get your little tiny retaining clip, the one we just took out. And I can just about see that groove, okay? So I'm gonna pull that governor arm out as best I can. And now I'm gonna push that little tiny, little tiny clip back back in to there. And as you can see, I now can't push that, it, that, that governor arm in. I'm just gonna make sure by pushing the screwdriver up against the seal that that is all the way home where it needs to be. It's just plopped into place just now. I just heard it go. Perfect. And that governor arm, I'm pushing on that now, it's not moving. Okay, so that's that governor arm now in, in situ, in place, okay? Uh, with a little tiny O-ring behind it, and that little tiny pin, that, that ain't going nowhere. Just double check, triple check, that that pin is, is all the way in at where it needs to be. Okay. And you've now got a nice little oil seal just behind that, and that will, that will help stem the flow, stop stop the flow of, uh, of any oil coming out your governor. Now it's time to fit your governor back on. 
sorry for bumping the camera, just make sure that your, your springs are on up the top here and your arm is all on where it needs to be. And very, very gently, don't force this on, okay? It will just go naturally. If you force it on, you could push that, push that little C clip off, that little clip off, and then you'll, you'll force that governor into place. So just very, very gently, with a bit of wiggling. Oh, it's come out of touch, that's better. Just fit that back into, back into its position. Back onto the governor rod. There goes one end. If it doesn't go on, you can get a little tiny um, screwdriver, okay, and uh, just open that gap up ever so slightly. So I'll show you what I mean. You can just take that off, <clears throat> loosen that little tiny nut up, like so, get a screwdriver, and literally just open that gap up ever so slightly. <clears throat> just to give you a little bit more, a little bit more leeway. Okay. It will go just as long as you persevere. <clears throat> I'm trying to show you as much as I can without my, my big heavy hands being in the way. But once you've got it perpendicular with itself, it, it will just, there you go, it's starting to go, there it goes. It will just start to sit on. Now it won't go all the way back because uh, you've got the circ, you've got the O-ring there, but as long as you've got enough just to hang on to the front of that little tiny governor arm just there, which I've got plenty, uh, that's all you need, okay? Like so. You can then hook your spring back up onto a bottom hole, which is where mine was. Should have perhaps done that first, Mick. Hindsight's a wicked thing. But now you see that that, that governor arm's fully working. All we now got to do is now set this governor um, to where it was originally, okay? So to set the governor, all you want to do is get a pair of um, long nose pliers, um, uh, a 10 mil spanner, you want to just start this little tiny nut and bolt off on your governor. Make sure it's all the way on. Just start it off. So you don't got too much doing up to do later on. But what you want is that governor arm to, to turn, but not the, uh, not the governor rod to turn, okay? It must be separate at the moment. What you've then got to do is get a pair of pliers, just get hold of the end of that governor rod. Just pinch it and turn that all the way clockwise, as far as it will go. And then pull your governor arm all the way back as far as it'll go, which is there. And then simply do up that nice little 10 mil nut that's right in the way. Just making sure that your governor arm is all the way back. It's a bit fiddly, you need, you need as, as many hands as an octopus. That'll do. And when you then turn your governor, you can then see your, uh, your governor arm will move. Now mine is all gunked up. I dare say mine was a bit of freeing up because it's just full of gunk on it, okay? But what we do is, um, I'll put the fuel line back on. We'll take it outside, give it a fire up, but that'll be how you um, fix your oil leak on your Honda engine uh, that's leaking via the governor arm. Right, I've got you all set up out there. Let me grab this old mower off his stand. And we want to see if it will now start up. So it was running beforehand and it was running fine, but just had an oil leak. But by mucking with a governor, sometimes what you can do is it, they read their heads off. And you don't want that. Especially not on a Honda. So, let's come on out. There is you. You're there. All right, Riley boy. So, uh, oil leak now, now is fixed with an oil seal. Um, governor's been readjusted. There's no air box on it yet. I need to find yeah, the air box for it. Are you all here, are you? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. There's my little Riley boy. Is it working? Hopefully, hopefully Daddy has fixed it. We should see. <laughs> I know, I'm covered in stuff. I've been You're dirty. I know, I'm dirty, yeah. On to choke. Oh, Daddy. Give it a pull. Mind your feet. It's working. Hopefully it's working, mate. We'll Try see. It. Smoky. Is it idle? It's smoky, Daddy. It's smoky. Hmm? A little bit smoky, mate. Yeah, but it's, it's been tipped up, you know. Where? So idle's lovely. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? 
choke. Full throttle. High five. So it is a bit smoky because it has been tipped up and what have you. There's probably too, too much oil in here and what have you. I can't. It will now go, you've got coughing, are you? Yeah. Okay. It's now go forward and have a full service. Uh, I've got to do the pull cord as well because the pull cord is way too short. So once I've done all of that st sort of stuff, um, hopefully it'll uh, do some of a good season. And uh, I'll check the oil uh, tomorrow once I've filled it up. And uh, hopefully there'll be no more oil leaks. And that's exactly how you fix an oil leak on a governor arm on any Honda engine. So there you go, that's how you fix your um, oil leak on your governor arm on any Honda engine. Um, they, it's not a common, common fault, but I have seen it once or twice in my time. And by fitting that little tiny oil seal and resetting your governor back to where it should be, your engine should run as sweet as that after that. And you don't have no more weeps of oil and uh, all that sort of gunk coming out of the governor and goes all over, all over the engine and all over your, your deck. So that, that's a very, very simple fix. Just make sure when you're doing that to make sure all your springs are attached as they were. Don't forget to take plenty of photographs beforehand. Otherwise, you'll, you'll uh, take it all apart and then you'll be wondering where it all goes. And, and don't just copy my video because some springs are different. Um, so make sure you take plenty of photographs or diagrams to make sure that you know where you're going with it. And then just to reset your governor, all you do is you turn your governor rod as far as it'll go clockwise, set your, clock, your governor arm all the way back as far as it'll go clockwise onto full throttle, and then do that little 10mm nut up and your engine will start up as sweet as a nut and also idle. If you do it wrong, your engine will probably rev its absolute head off. If you like this sort of video of mixed models on how to change your oils or how to renew the oil seal on a uh, Honda lawnmower engine, then give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to whack the old bell. Ding! That way you'll be told one done a video or two more on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Models very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.